Hi, I'm Elise from SixSisterStuff.com and today I'm making Andy's Mint Muddy Buddies. And we love Muddy Buddies on our site. We've got cake batter Muddy Buddies, peanut butter chocolate Muddy Buddies, you name it, we've got it all. So I'm making a Christmas version today with Andy's Mints and it's super delicious and I know you guys will love it. And it's perfect for a party or to give to your neighbors as a gift. So to start out, I just have two boxes of Andy's mints and I've unwrapped them and put them in a microwavable safe bowl and we're going to microwave it for about 60 seconds until they're melted. Okay, so I actually ended up microwaving mine for about a minute and 45 seconds just until it looks quite melted. So then I'll just take a rubber spatula and really mix it to get all of the pieces melted. So once this is smooth, I'm just going to pour it over five cups of corn Chex Mix. You could use rice Chex, you could use whatever flavor you like. I think the corn has a little bit of a sweeter taste, so I go with that usually, but okay. And you could easily double this if you had a larger crowd, just to use four boxes of mints and 10 cups of cereal, which would be about a, bo a large box. So you'll just want to stir this gently and try not to crush the cereal so you don't have a ton of tiny pieces and crumbs. But you want each piece of Chex Mix to have some chocolate on it so the powdered sugar will stick to it. And I've learned the hard way that it's not easy to mix the powdered sugar in with the cereal and it's easier to do it in a bag. So we're going to do that in a minute to get it all finished. Okay, so this looks pretty good. This part might be tricky getting it into the bag, but we'll see. So I've got a cup and a half of powdered sugar. I'm just going to get all the cereal into this bag. Okay, here is the last of it. So once you have your cereal, your chocolate covered checks in your bag, just seal it, make sure it really is sealed, and then just shake it up. Just takes a minute. You'll have a little bit of extra powdered sugar in your bag, but that's, that's okay. And once it looks like it's all covered, you are ready to go. You could put it in a big serving dish or serve it in individual size bowls. It's really up to you. And it would be fun to do a cute topping on this. I know they have the Andes baking bits and you could sprinkle some of those on top. But I'm just gonna add a few Christmas sprinkles and they are ready to go. For this and other delicious Christmas recipes, be sure to check out our blog, SixSisterStuff.com. And thanks for watching.